The Midlands is home to the furthest point from the sea in any direction in the country. The exact spot lies on a farm in Derbyshire, but it hasn't stopped the Royal Navy from turning to Midlanders to top its reservists. They want to find more than 400 naval reserves from the, from the Midlands alone over the next three years. By day, Edmund Grandison from Kings Norton runs his minibus and chauffeur business. But in his spare time, Edmund's a Navy reservist. He was even given an award after his actions helped free a group of fishermen held hostage by pirates off the coast of Africa. I do anti-piracy. I've been down to the Gulf. I've been to the Falklands, been to Brazil, been around Europe. Um, we tend to go on RFA ships and we we go where any ship needs protection. This is HMS Forward in Birmingham, one of the training bases for reservists. 440 new recruits are needed from across the Midlands over the next three years. Clearly it takes longer to train a reservist because they have, uh, they're have they not working full time. But at the end of their training they are every bit as good as a, a regular. Reservists have to be between 16 and 40, or 45 if you're ex-service. New recruits must do a minimum of 24 training days a year, on evenings, occasional weekends and for a two-week course. They can also qualify for a tax-free bonus each year, depending on the length of service. If you want to do something different, you want adventure, you want to do something that's out of what your normal 9-to-5 job is, and you want to develop your skills that you don't necessarily get in work, then it's a great place to do that. The Navy want more people who may have the spare time to sign up.